I'm just saying, you know, PMS or burrito, it's all good in this dress. Skip to my loo, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Welcome to another What $100 Buys You video, where we go to some of our favorite stores, spend $100 and see what we got for it. Well, today's the day that we see what we can get at Forever 21 for $100. Now, obviously I went to the store, but my first purchase was through the mail. I wanted to challenge myself, I'm challenged, to see if I could purchase only, well, it's not that hard of a feat, but purchase only the sale items. Well, last week Forever 21 had 50% off the already reduced prices. So in a lot of cases, things were free or they gave money to me to take it. That's not real. Anyway, let's back up the camera and take a look at what I got. All right, so as I said before, I did both online shopping and in store. I did online first and I'll tell you something. The way I shop online is if I find something I like, I just, put it in the cart and deal with the cart later. Well, I did that for probably an hour and a half and I didn't deal with it later very well. I ended up with stuff I didn't know that I even put in there, like this thing. And we will look at this a little bit later because it's actually funny. So this came in the mail. I looked at it, realized I got nothing to make outfits. So I went to the actual store and bought things that I think would match. Anyway, we're gonna start with probably my favorite item. And that is this animal print satin skirt. Although I was looking for a bodysuit, they did not have any, at least not in my size or one where things weren't hanging out. So to go with it, I got this shirt that has a little tie in the front. The whole reason for wanting a bodysuit is it's high-waisted and I don't want to have to tuck anything in. Okay, to give you an example of how cheap things were, um, this was normally $9.90, marked down to five, marked down again to $2.50. That makes up for this skirt being $20 and buying it not on sale. So there's an outfit. I think. Yes, I got lots of jeans. Jeans, jeans. Oh, and this is where I started noticing that things were just, you know, left in my cart. So I would normally just maybe go with one stripy shirt, but there's a couple in here, at least black and white. There. So yeah, three black and white shirts. Now this is a bodysuit that I think is really cute. That rhymed. So here's the bodysuit and it was to go with these Palazzo pants like this. Should I try it on? I'm not at that point yet. So that's an outfit. What the hell is this? What could go with this? Uh, yeah, some of this stuff is gonna go directly to Ava because I guess I was thinking of her when I purchased it. This is a little, well, you've gotta wear something under it because plunge aroma. So I will figure something out to go with that. Maybe stripies, let's see. No, Lou, no, third pair of jeans. All right, let's talk about the jeans. Okay, I want you to look at the jeans I have on now. I mean, did I really need a faded pair of jeans? I don't think so, but I have them. These I thought were super cute. So they look like that at the top and they are flared and rough cut. Lastly, these tie front, which I think I was choosing between two jeans that tied in the front. And 
I don't know why I ended up with these because these have pockets on the sides rather than on the front. And I don't need that extra pooch that comes right here. All right, here's an orange shirt that is just like the black shirt that I took out. It's kind of a, it's a Chinese red, which looks kind of like orange. And that will go with some of the jeans. Okay, I don't know about this shirt. I love shirts that have, you know, a regular neck, but they tie up high. That rhyme too. And that is what this number does. What else is in here? This is just a crop top that I plan on wearing something underneath. Here's a pink cowl neck sweater that is the same quality as you would find on wish.com. And that's not a positive thing. That's what that looks like. Let's talk about this dress. Firstly, maybe I liked the picture, but I should know better. Cute little pattern. It's got pineapples on it. And I have to say, I am attracted to pineapples, pictures of pineapples, but no, this is for, uh, let's say it, someone who is 21 forever. All right. So first outfit is going to be the black top and the cheetah skirt. Is that leopard cheetah? I don't know, but cute skirt. Let's take all this off the couch and here it is. All right. So yeah, I'm going to try the bodysuit with these pants. So excuse me. It's a little Googleicious, but I really don't mind uh, this outfit. I like where the pants are cut. Let's look at the butt. Okay. So no pockets to show how low or high the former my butt is. So cute and extremely comfortable pants. Okay. Not the same green, but we're going to have the same top with this. So ready? One, two, three. Yeah, I think this is for Ava. It's super cute, but too short for me. If it were knee length, I would be all over it, but it's not unless I, no, I'm not sure that it needs a shirt where the collar flaps over the suspender items, but not bad. Okay. I need to look at a full length mirror. Excuse me. So I remember now why I don't wear body suits. They hurt. I would like to try this with something, maybe something light like these pants that I already have in this shirt. So yeah, let's do it. Ready? All right. So here's what happened with this shirt. I see a shirt with one of these and I buy it no matter what the pattern is. I don't mind this, but there's too much of it. Maybe if it were sleeveless or cap sleeve, even just not so much, it might've been okay, but you're still going to get a show. I feel very groovy. So when zipping these pants up, listen, how long it takes to zip up and down. It just keeps going. What I'm trying to say is they are very high waisted, which makes for a very long butt. Okay. So since they're so high waisted, let's try on this crop top. Yeah, it's still too cropped. I'm not allowed to have this, not because of anything other than my age 
Hey, old lady. I see your midriff. Cover it up. Oh, well. So, yeah, like I said before, this would be with a tank top or something. So, we're going to try these pants and this orange shirt. So, these are longer than I thought they would be. And I'm pretty sure the model in the picture was sitting down. So maybe if I sit down, it'll look good. Yeah, maybe like that. And it looked like they were shorter. Let's give one of these stripey guys a chance. Yeah, I don't know what happened. That's short. That's not as short. Okay, I'm gonna do this trick sitting down. Ready? It is so comfortable. It's a cute top. You know, it's basic black and white striped top. I think what I like is that the collar and the sleeves are solid. You know, I bought this sweater at the store and I didn't, I don't try things on at stores just because I'm super lazy, but this was $15.90 to $7, which is $3.50. So you can kind of see how I got so much stuff for so little. Real quick, let's put this sweater on. All right, so I put this top on with these pants because it's very short and these are at least kind of high. And ties in the back, ties in the front. And here's what I mean by those pockets. I don't enjoy pockets that are on the outside seam. I prefer them here and to access them here. Still cute pair of pants, cute top, but it itches. The top itches. It must have wool or something in it. Let's try the super cheap sweater on just because it's here. What happened? It's frumpy. What's this all about? That's what it's about. Oh, it does not stay. Um, you know, wrong pants with this top, but the top is not that bad. I enjoy pink and I could probably wear this even in the summer here because it's so thin. So here's an item I'm confused about. I think it might be a nightgown or something. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so for the finale, we're gonna try this bad boy on. Never gonna wear it. This will be a donation for sure. So, ready? All right, well that Presto Changeo is not gonna work because my camera decided to stop. What's happening here? the label. Who leaves that in there? Nobody. Um, yeah. Do you like it? But I have to say that the pattern on here is a very nice camouflage if I'm having, you know, one of those days, like this kind of day. No big deal, but it's nice that you can't see it from the front. I'm not trying to be mean to myself. I don't do that anymore. I'm just saying, you know, PMS or burrito, it's all good in this dress. That was it for the Forever 49 haul. Oh wait, 21. I'm aware it's 21. So Ava will have a couple new things in her closet, but so will I. I like the leopard skirt and the black top. I liked the olive pants and the bodysuit, not buttoned. Anyway, you guys, that's it for this What $100 Buys You at Forever 21 video. I hope you enjoyed it. Mm, 
No, you probably didn't learn anything. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos.